Hey everybody, it's Risley. Today we're playing Super Auto Pets. Let's give it a go. Okay. On the road to victory. Victory is, I would say, seven wins or more. We are not necessarily on the road to ten wins, but we are on the road for seven or more wins. It's a very important distinction. I wouldn't want anyone to get too cocky. We are running golden poops, which makes me feel a little cringy because it feels like we're trying to tell people we're great. I'm not great, I've just played a lot. There are some games where just playing a lot does make you a little bit cool, but I wouldn't say this is necessarily the one, given this is very much kind of like a, I don't know, Candy Crush style game? Maybe a little bit more effort and synergy? A little bit less um, middle-aged mothers playing? We can be some bubbly celebrities. I don't know really what bubbly celebrities. That's one problem. I have approximately zero knowledge on anything pop culture related. In terms of celebrities, my knowledge is about as extensive as whatever Disney Channel live action shows I watched when I was five. But also not, because now that I think about it, I don't think I know the single name of any of the people who were on those shows. Let alone even their characters. I am so gosh darn name blind. That's the problem, is that I can't- like, when I read a book, if I finish the book, the book could literally be amazing and I loved it, and I'm like, you know what? This is my new favorite book, Forever and Eternity. And you ask me what, like, the second main character's name was, I, I might not even know. I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> I have such selective ability to actually remember things. You're in here, you're in here. We're running a lot of scalers that don't actually do anything in the long run. You know what? I think that Salamander can really be given a shot, and I think that he can pull something out. So you know what? Geese? No, you're getting out of here. You're in. And we're gonna do you start up turn. That is not a start up battle. Neither are you guys. Next turn, we're gonna buy the ducks early because we have a level, so I cannot waste an opportunity such as that. However, post that fact, I think that either the fish or the otter is going to have to be ejected from the island. In lieu of items and animals, We'll start a battle abilities. Scratch, of course, the items. That doesn't make any gosh darn sense. Thank you. You don't have an ability that starts the battle, but you are pretty good, so you can come in. And you guys cannot. Please get out of my face. None of these guys. Oh no, we do have a sort of battle. The crab, 50% of the health from the most healthy unit. Well, that's three. Which is more than you currently have, so I guess, technically speaking, that could be worth. You're gone, we'll take you for the turn. And you know, I feel like I recently said I didn't like the rapid very much. I actually think he's pretty cool. That being said, the early game has almost no scaling foods. In terms of scaling foods, we have apple and meat stick. You know what? I don't think this is the time for you. I'm so sorry. I don't really like feeding animals repetitive tools for the sake of, what, one extra health? That definitely does not feel that worth it to me, so I feel like in the long run, that's not a Ratman Apple run. I will say, though, if there were scaling foods, and especially if there were worms... Worms are so hard to get off the ground, but I just feel like they're so cute and lovable, and I love buying scaling foods. I love buying scaling foods so much. That it just feels like the funnest runs are a worm plus a rabbit or something that makes it even cooler than it already was. Although, how much cooler can you even get? None of you guys are start of battles. You are all disrespecting me and my wishes. I'm buying you anyway just because I like the idea of stats. We're going to keep him because he's actually just pretty good. I think the goose is going to be our replacement starting now. Yeah, out of here. In here. You definitely would be out of here if not for the fact that I can't sell you and buy on the same turn. Hmm... So in terms of strength, we have very little. But how did our camel- it didn't start with 8 health, did it? Was it a beaver? Our camel was pretty good. And he was okay. And this duck is randomly good, I, I guess because of that man. If we hadn't got frickin' sniped, then maybe things would have been fine. That was also something beautiful about the last weekly. There were like no snipers. But now what do we have? Just dolphins, actually? A very low sniper team as well, just the dolphin. Alright, well we're not leveling you, but we do have a start of battle, so get out, get in, get out again. We'll take some health, thank you. If you're gonna offer it, I might as well accept it. Yes, no. And scaling on you. Okay, no, 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 okay. 
it's not a horrible team. We have some stats. I just feel like we don't have abilities. Technically speaking, the camel's ability, but the camel's ability is just actually more stats. So you could just say that he has additional stats. No, our beefiness does not defeat his beefiness. This is only horrible for us. <laughs> no. Our jellyfish with one kill. I'm proud of you for something. I'm proud of you for doing something, jellyfish, even if you're a real stinker and I haven't run into like any level twos. So much so that you're actually getting out of here. I'm sorry, I don't I don't actually love you. That was all a joke. Um This is the start of battle, I guess. Gone? Yes, no, yes. I don't want more ducks. I see what you're going for there. And I have to say, I don't want more ducks. Is this a good setup? I would say no. Maybe that would have actually been a pretty good time to sell our duck. We're not committed to the duck. I like the anteater and the deer more just as units. But they're both in a really janky position because I also want my lizard to not be too far back in the line. But the anteater can't be in the very front or else I'll lose one of his ants. So he has to be last, or second to last, or a third. Real messed up here. We are going to defeat this fish, though. Power of the bus. Power of the bus, my friends. I always respect a bus. I love them. Ooh. I mean, yes. Maybe I should have sold this first. I don't know. I don't think this actually probably matters, right? Deal 100% of damage to the most healthy enemy and itself. Okay, so you'll live. That's... Pretty cool. I think I've literally never attempted to run a swordfish before because I feel like they mostly just kill themselves and I don't like it very much. And you know what? Is it a good unit or like setup to run him? What would we do? Obviously we'd keep him. This kind of makes up, you know, that makes like two more units. That's not too bad. A boss is another unit. We'd sell him and him and run this and then have one space open for additional scaling. You know what? Turn nine... You could probably say, you could probably argue pretty strongly, in fact, is too late to start a llama. But, but I'm not very smart, so. <laughs> all uh, arguments of logic, all arguments of logos do not qualify and have very little effect. 22 health. Where did you get that from, my guy? A strong little lobster. You Christmas tree crab, if that really is your real name. Okay, out of here. I feel a little bad about this one. He actually has decent health. But yes, out of here. You're in. And now we're doing full-on buy cells. You guys both give us the power of the lizard. And you can come to the front. And then you can come to the front. And you can get to the back because you kind of suck. I mean... I'm thinking of whether or not I want to buy an eggplant. I'm pretty sure there's not really that many units that would, like, have to go in the back. You know, there's not, like, vultures or sharks or anything this turn. So there's not, like, a whole big reason to be moving people around. I feel like it's mostly just have good stats or don't start a battle. Yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. Okay, then we've got the entire shop frozen. We don't need onion, and we don't need potato. I guess we could have a potato, purely for anti-dolphin technology. It feels like a really weird thing to commit to, given that uh, that's like the only sniper, and what's the chances they still have a dolphin? You know, we're, we're risking the biscuit just for the chance of that. No, my ants! No, my boss! Even more so than my ants. Oh, and you're gonna kill- Oh, my entire squad. My entire squad unravels. <laughs> there were too many loose strings to pull. Okay, so that sucked. However, have you ever considered a double llama? That's kind of cool. And you're out. And I guess I could... Scaling. Scaling, scaling, scaling. Scaling sure is a thing. You need a pepper. You're weak, but this can't- this won't get you anywhere in life. Maybe this? Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, so Llama, I know I'm putting a lot of pressure on your back right now. I'm gonna need you to become extremely powerful within approximately the next, like, five minutes. And by five minutes, I mean instantaneously, because if we lose this round, we're dead. Hmm. Okay, well. I gotta say, I put some amount of confidence in you, and you did not repay the fact. We are going to have to run it back, but... Four wins? <laughs> but four wins? That's all I gotta say. Three beavers, that's pretty radical, and I don't care for you guys, so that's fine. 
Today we shall be some menacing warriors. We are channeling the power. We are channeling Epic the Musical. The new TikTok pop sensation fake musical with amazing music. To be a man, to be a candle, to be a blaze, to be a comet, to be a meteor. Only the cool kids reference that. Alright, so we're just gonna run Big Beaver just because I have so many beavers that thinks it's kind of fun. Ladybugs are actually a jam. Which is interesting because this new ladybug is a lot more cutesy than the last one. He actually looks weaker. He looks like a weak, stinky unit. Even though I know ladybugs are actually really good. Especially in there. Oh, more beavers, though. You say good unit? You say a uh, fifth beaver? Okay. We're doing a bison run. One more beaver. And then two levels. Three. One, two, three. Three levels. Three chances at a bison if we wait till turn five. This is the only way we can come back for our doom. <laughs> is to run the most basic and best of the synergies. Having a tier... Th level three at the beginning of the game there it is okay so we have what we need we have to survive two more turns um what some people would say is guaranteed because we have five health and i would say have you not noticed the fact that if you die without killing a single animal you actually lose all five health at once you didn't know about that hmm am i the only person occasionally dying without killing a single animal nay i've never done that before I kill every animal every time. I don't know what you're talking about. I actually would love to add you to my team, but we're kind of committed to this whole uh, four shots at a, at a bison thing, so... Probably just going to do this instead, although it technically is a really sucky decision. And I'm good. Okay. We still have five health. And next turn is the turn of dreams. All of my hopes in life, all of my efforts up until this point, my entire college degree has been going into the next turn. I hope the world does not disappoint me. I hope it does not disappoint me for the billionth time. Hmm? Hmm, world. You promised me happiness? I mean, that's kind of cool, but no. That's kind of cool as well, but no. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna take all these units because these are all jamming units, but... Next turn we sell this man, and I want someone to level so that we have another chance at a bison. Bison, get in my pocket. He looks especially more like a like a Pokemon at this point. I feel like they made him extra more fluffy, and now he looks kind of like that Pokemon, also based on a bison whose head is just entirely fluff. I don't remember its name. Remember what it looks like. My Pokemon knowledge is quite star uh, strong up until, I would say, the black and white games. Because at that point, they introduced an entire new game full of Pokemon, and I did not play it so much as to memorize all of their names, but I do recognize them. But before that, I have a pretty good jam in knowledge. You know, that feeling when you've been playing Pokemon your entire life, and then you have a cousin who's like, four, and they're like, you don't know how as many Pokemon as I do, and their parents is literally like, no, this kid knows so many Pokemon, there's no way you know more. And I'm like, I literally have been alive and playing and witnessing Pokemon for longer then the even essence or idea of having kids has been in your parents' mind, okay? You can get out, because you're not actually strong. You're purely here for the stats. I'm gonna give it to the deer, because I just think a deer is so freaking radical. I will take you for one turn. I'm going to have to take you for one turn. And you know what? Let's do... That's weird, isn't it? It's pretty weird, isn't it? Yeah. I just like front deer so much. And I want this guy to be kind of- I want this man to be kind of close. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We got two wins for four, four hearts in a dream. Okay, well can your meat defeat my bus? Ooh, it super could actually. I'm a little surprised how easily your meat defeated my bus there. Not even your rabbit can defeat an antidote though. A penguin. Well, if you insist. Um, I'm still rolling for the bison. Where the heck will, is this man? And why is he not in my pocket yet? <laughs> bison? <gasps> no. You're not even in tier 4. Will we pass the point of no return about the bison? And free shop. Plus 1-1 one, one to a random enemy. The problem is that you used to be awesome. But now you suck. That's the problem. The second problem is that this guy is giving possibly benefits to two units that we don't like. So you know what? I'm actually going to sell you despite the fact that you have stats and meat in exchange for a dolphin. I feel like this is the way. 
And you don't have to be up there anymore. Okay. The team isn't looking great, but we have scaling. That is something that we've lacked in the previous rounds. We did not have an automated scaling. No, come on. Uh, two ants. Come on, you two ants. You can pull it out. Yeah, make that the biggest beaver. And then... And then... And, and so forth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Just because you've got a strong dolphin. <gasps> Everyone clench your butt cheeks, we found a- we found a bison. What are we gonna do with, though? I mean, yes, but like... Dolphin versus anteater? These guys have been a real jam in terms of killing us. You know what? No. Bison? It's turn? What? <gasps> what? Come on, now. Well, I have to do that. But the anteater is the one who's gonna have to go for it, which is such a rip. Because, man, he, he was trying his best. He was doing something. He wasn't like a loser squad. Okay. So we're making the pivot. This is the pivot that is supposed to carry us into late game. We're making it way too late. The, the bison is- you're, you're too late, but I'm specifically going to give you so much chocolate that you can enable yourself to be better than you are. I need you to do this for me. I need you to do this for me in my life right now. Oh sweet, I was actually about- I was gonna say I'm kind of sad that we can't do this guy actually first, but gladly he came for us anyhow. Out. I would like to level you this turn. Sadly, the game doesn't want me to love you this turn. Sadly again, the game is not the boss of me. I am going to do it this turn. You are good behind him. This is just good. And I think that's her squad. Now, you could also make an argument that this entire time I should have been focusing all that chocolate on, like, one of my actually good level twos so that I can get rid of this beaver. Get eat this beaver right into the atmosphere because he's not that great. I think it'll come with time, though. I think naturally we'll find... That this beaver will be aged out. No need for me to put so much extra work into it. Yes, penguin. Yes, penguin. Five wins. We are two wins away from having an amazing time. Was I having an amazing time either way? Yes, I am having a pretty good time. Thank you for asking. That's very sweet of you. Out of here. We'll hold you for a second just in case we happen upon another cow and we didn't. So double bus can't be in front. So we're doing this. Um, that's all right. Move to the back, went in front once. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. If I end up switching, like, you out, it has to actually specifically be you for a different unit that does something. This would allow us to get a second entire use out of this man's tiger thing. That could be cool. In the name of hopefully uh, one of you two get into level three such that we can kick the beaver and put something like, I don't know, like a boar. Which is just stats. I mean, double stats, though. To be fair, it's pretty good stats. No, you strong... All these strong jellyfish. Oh, but two buses, though? That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I freaking thought! Six wins. Six wins and climbing. You're in. Friend faints. If it was a faint pet, activate its ability again. You? The interesting thing is that this actually works better than the tiger because the tiger's only giving a level one bus, and this guy I think would instantly give a level two. But then when it levels, it when this man levels, it becomes the same as you. And if you level, you do nothing on extra levels. You're just like a one timer kind of guy. I don't know. Maybe. Let's try that out. And you don't even have to be behind him. You can just be like over here or something. And, you know, in that way, I actually kind of want to make sure that you don't die to a random sniper. So we are going to give you that. Melon armor. Cow. Mm. Mm hmm. Interesting proposition you've offered me here today. A cow. I would have to sell the guy that I just bought and then also paid for food for. So it would definitely be a very pricey pivot. No, strong penguin. Strong penguin with a B. A doctor B at that. Even if the penguin had lived, that doctor would have fixed him up right how. Next turn, he would have come back kicking. I couldn't have won there, but now I've got a melon armor, so that's going for us. A second one on you? Okay. You can't be telling me the squad does not look stronger than ever before. Let us forget the cow for a second. I'm going to continue with the concept of the pterodactyl, because, I don't know, synergies? 
Maybe once in a while I should actually try to do like a plan. As to try to use animals that work together instead of just focusing on one big guy. No, my melon! Why do you only have five health? How did he get five health? Devil bus. Devil bus. Seven wins. Seven wins! There's a secret trophy behind my face over here. Seven wins. I guess we'll commit to that, although I continue to think it's not really the superest importance. You know what would be awesome, though? If this band gets to the point of scaling that I don't even have to have a tier 3 at all, that'd be kind of cool. You know, if I replace you with this guy today, we could get three buses. That's kind of funky, isn't it? Three buses? At the cost of 4-4? Four, four? Hmm. I I'm gonna keep it saved. I'm gonna keep it saved for one turn. We'll consider it. We'll consider super buses. I mean, this bison has plenty of scaling. We've got penguin scaling as well, which is a two-thirds chance of hitting you at some point. Hey, now, you can't kill me. I had melon armor. You dingle. Ow, the heck? Five friendly attacks deal six damage to two enemies? Did he even hit my pterodactyl? Did my, did my potato do anything there? The one time the potato had a chance to do something, did it do anything? Ah! Okay, now you can get out of my face. You have amazing sats and I still hate you. We're gonna go for this. And I actually do kind of like pita bread. I don't think it's better than melon armor though, so we're gonna skip it for now. I would like you not to die, thank you. You know what? I don't think we need a tier 3. The level 3 bison. Man, I switched the words leveled and tiered constantly. I can't imagine how annoying that must be for people. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's got 49 health. He's good. He's Gucci. Man, Bison, you don't even need my help anymore. Which is lame, because I only just now got to the point where I got to uh, kill the unit that was here the entire time just for you. Oh, two ants? How about three buses? Sir, I'm sorry. I think you forgot your bus. Oh no, you missed it? That's sad. Okay, tiger. Yes. Uh. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Hmm? Or food. Food is good, but penguin though. Penguin's also pretty cool. I think we've got a rip ass squad. This squad is awesome. If we can level up our tiger, three buses? Wait, we can't even fit that many buses. No, wait, we're wasting a bus. Oh, our order is totally, it's totally gunked up. We can't even fit the pure quantity of buses we're running. Oh, well, we could this time because we sucked a little bit, but we're, oh my god. That is the fattest sloth I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I'm glad it didn't give us our last, uh, our less health there, but man. I kind of would have had to respect it if it did. Yes, yes. And all y'all have to get to the back. So I guess you have to go here. <laughs> I mean, honestly, anti-scorpion technology. Congratulations, you have a purpose. Your purpose is anti-scorpion. Um, no. Maybe. Maybe so. No. And to know. Okay, I will say though, that bear, five friendly attacks, six damage. On level one, six damage to two enemies? Six damage to two enemies on level one. That is a, that's a strong man. In fact, that's really easy to get with all these buses. Does, does a bus hitting two people at once count as two attacks or one attack? I could see that going in either direction. My super bus squad might actually be amazing with a bear. Oh, oh my god. Oh my jeez. That's a lot of stats. Can I get through there with pure bus power? Oh, I'm kind of close. No, oh, oh no. Three health. Okay. Eight wins. Pretty jamming. I feel, I feel, I feel vindicated. Oh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.